vlog style video here at Lily's Live HQ. Um, welcome back guys, I hope you're all really well. So it's Tuesday, I was going to say Tuesday morning but it's definitely not Tuesday morning, it's already been a very long day. It's Tuesday midday here, um, so all the deliveries are done, they were done and dusted by about 10.15 this morning. Um, still pretty quiet actually in terms of the number of orders that I've been having and I think it's just seasonal time, I think it's summertime, people are still away. Um, it may be a sign of things to coming in terms of the, the current climate and inflation um, but I'm trying hard not to get too bogged down about that in terms of business um, and trying to stay positive and just going to keep on like pushing through and finding new ways of um, keeping the business going and keeping everything ticking along because I don't know about you guys but the more news that I read the more depressed I get so obviously I'm trying to stay informed but not too low about it because I feel like there's always a way there is always a way anyway um, so all deliveries are done for today and I just wanted to do a little kind of catch up with you guys, just um, get you up to speed on things that have been happening recently. So in my last video, you may have seen that I was still technically on jury service. Um, while I wasn't inside, um, I was on jury service and I could have been called up at any time. Um, but thankfully, last Wednesday afternoon, I was given the all clear so I am free of that now and honestly I just felt so much relief because I genuinely didn't know how long that was gonna go on for and how long it was gonna affect my business affect my life in general um, so I am just very very relieved that that is done and dusted I'm not gonna go into too many details about it because I'm still kind of nervous about talking about it publicly but yeah all done and dusted, so back to business here at Lily's Loaf, which I'm so happy about. Ow, that oven's still <laughs> really hot. Um, so that happened on Wednesday, so in that time I was doing my level 3 food safety hygiene training and I passed, I'm so so happy about it. Um, I got, I think I got like 83-85%, so I was very chuffed with that result. So when I had this free time, when I was kind of on jury service, um, I was like, right, this has got to be done. So I spent about three, four hours, maybe three hours every day or so, um, kind of going through the modules. There were about, I think there must have been like 40 odd modules. Um, all, like, I'm not gonna bore you to death with it because it was very, very dull. <laughs> and all this side of the business I do not enjoy at all but these things have to be done and I do feel com more confident as a food business owner and a supervisor um, with this knowledge under my belt. So NCAS, if you haven't heard of it, it stands for Nationwide Caterers Association and under that umbrella they have training for food business owners, for anyone working in food businesses whether you're like waiting staff, um, casual staff, uh, all the way up to like manager position. Um, and within that, you've got like various different levels of food training. So I was doing level three, which is what all food business owners should have, I believe. Um, or if you're a supervisor, you should have that too. Um, but NCAS also provide like other documents for food businesses to operate and it just, creates like clear outlines for certain things that you have to have in place like opening and closing checks and cleaning schedules and just basically keeping on top of all of the admin so when you are inspected by the environmental health officer um, you have all of these documents in place to kind of show that you're doing everything correctly and then there's also something called like traceability so every single ingredient that comes in to your business you have to keep track of that because if god forbid something was wrong with a certain product that it's the responsibility of that business to tell your business 
that there's something wrong with this, stop using it, and then you can tra trace it back um, in this document. And it's just all of these things that I'm just learning as I go along. So since then, I've, I had some deliveries on Sunday. I had some deliveries today as well. I made another birthday cake, which I was so happy about. I'm just so happy that I'm kind of like sharing this with customers and I genuinely get so much joy from making cakes and icing them like I think as long as I give myself enough time it's a very pleasurable therapeutic experience so yeah I'm really really happy with that side of things so for the rest of today um, I've got some admin to do I've got some planning to do for some content for actually, for actually my first ever branded partnership um, with a company who I've been using actually from very very early on in my small business journey and I'm really excited to tell you guys more about that further along down the line because there's some cool things that you can get involved with. I've got some recipe testing to do so <laughs> you guys have probably seen in the past that I have tried many a time to do vegan croissants um, and pastries and like laminated dough and have failed um, but I'm so determined to do it because I just think when I crack that it's going to open up so many doors and I just think it'll be such a fantastic product to have and to share with my customers because I think like what's better than waking up on a Sunday morning and having a lovely delivery of fresh pastries and fresh croissants at your door. I will check in when I have more things to say and to update you on, but that is about it at the moment. Um, Wednesdays are actually my new day off, kind of, um, now that I'm doing the weekend deliveries as well as Tuesday and Friday. Um, but I am having another go at the vegan croissants. So I've just chosen like a really simple recipe actually, and I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm not going to place any sort of pressure on myself to crack it this time, but yeah, it's a bit of a journey. So I'm just doing a really, really simple one with actually osmo tolerant yeast um, because I just don't have any fresh yeast at the moment and I'm just like I just want to I just want to crack this so yeah ideally it would be fresh yeast but that's something for the future this is just an experiment so we shall see very small dough as you can see um, it's just coming together slowly slowly so it's literally just world farm t65 which is their strong white bread flour equivalent um, sugar salt osmo tolerant yeast and some water and that is it so we shall see how it goes
guys, so it's now Thursday afternoon, so I think the last time I spoke to you guys was yesterday, um, when I was just starting off my croissant dough. So it's since been chilling in the fridge uh, for about 24 hours, sorry, I've got um, tissue under my armpit. Um, and I've just done the first lamination, so fingers crossed it all goes okay. Um, but yeah, I've had a pretty busy day actually, so I was up at 5am doing my bakes and deliveries for one of my wholesale clients, 40 Acre Forest Coffee, who are based in Collierswood. Um, and then even before I went out on deliveries, I um, mixed my South London sourdough, which I was so happy about because I'm getting quicker and quicker and more efficient with my bakes and prep and it might sound a bit nerdy but it makes me very very happy <laughs> indeed um, so yeah did that and then I've done I finished all my prep for Friday deliveries by midday which is so so good um, and it means that this afternoon I can play around with croissants and I just have to sort out my packages for tomorrow to so make sure I've got all my boxes labeled up and names and everything and the bags done and postcards, um, just make sure that we're all set for deliveries tomorrow. And then I'm gonna edit this video and I have also got, I've got a couple other projects on the go that I need to really start thinking about. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna just focus on these two things for today. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna check in on the progress of vegan croissants next week, I promise. Um, and hopefully I will have had success but we shall see um, so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a comment down below let me know what you want to see soon I've had a couple of request videos which I am in the process of filming but I've just got a couple of things to sort out first um, but if you have any requests at all leave me a comment down below don't forget to subscribe and I will see you very soon Thank you so much, guys. Bye.